What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Northern Rider and today we take a basic look over what cameras and equipment that are available to a beginner photographer. So before we get started, don't forget that I live stream every Friday 5pm for a couple of hours, talk all things mountain biking, photography, answer your questions on social media or photography, video making, all that kind of good stuff. Make sure to crack that subscribe Bruh. button as well for more content like this and other riding content. So grab a brew and let's get cracking with a knacking. So it's often said that the best camera to have is the one that's available. Well, that's partly true, but I mean, if I've got a DSLR in my pocket, then I've got a phone camera, I know which one I'm taking. But let's take a quick look at exactly what types of cameras there are available to take photos with. So let's not beat around the bush and get down to brass tacks. We know that phone cameras are a thing and 99% of people who head out on the trails have a phone with them. They're great for taking shots of our friends, whether it's video or photo. Not so great for point of view angles, but versatile nonetheless. There's a variety of apps available to be able to change the settings and add filters so you can have fun shooting with your phone. GoPros are absolutely fantastic and they are surprisingly powerful for taking photos. Well, the later versions are at least. From the GoPro 8 and upwards, they introduced RAW files to the GoPro, which we're going to go into at a later date, but basically it gives you more control editing the image without causing the image to look crap. But alas, they can take photos and you can stick them anywhere you fancy. Oh, behave. DSLR slash mirrorless. These are really worth taking your time to invest in and learn the ins and outs of. They produce high quality photos and videos with interchangeable lenses for all situations and a huge variety of settings and equipment. These are the granddaddy when it comes to high quality content. Let's take a look at those accessories then, shall we? What do I need to get this shot or that shot? Well, these cameras are versatile and you can get tons of shots from different places and you can get creative you use trees or rocks to hold accessories or cameras but be careful i but for you just getting started a cheap tripod is a perfect way to get started for all the before mentioned cameras you can get mounts and all sorts of bits of accessories for them to add onto a tripod and you can stick them anywhere you fancy Selfie sticks are a great addition if you fancy vlogging or if you want to stick it in the ground as a makeshift monopod. There's tons of cheap packs for GoPro stuff like chest mounts and mini tripods and all that sort of stuff. You can get them for like 30 quid or less. But do remember that if you buy shite, you buy twice. Extra batteries. <laughs> Christ, I'll never stop repeating this one. Just do it. Honestly, you'll thank us later. Portable chargers also get put into that as well because they're a form of battery. And of course, cables because you can't charge about the cables another great one is filters and screen protectors rarely mentioned but important to protect lenses from dust scratching etc you can also use these filters to darken your image in case it's too bright outside again but that's going to be in another video but protect your lenses that again is really important memory another one that is a big one i've turned up to a photo shoot before without a memory card and it was an absolute nightmare not worse because we all know we have the best times when you don't have your memory cards bags are a really good one you can get them in all shapes and sizes and they also accommodate all sorts of different bits of accessories as well use them for storage back at home and also you can use them to carry things around on your bike when you're on the trail <laughs> So these are some basic things that you can get gradually over time and sometimes you can get things cheaper like in a bundle with your photography package or something like that. You can keep amassing things over time but it's not a one-off bang you're done sort of situation. These things can be expensive and also there can be quite a lot of things to get. So bear that in mind when you're actually going to look for a camera or bits and pieces for your cameras and stuff like that. But for now, all you need is your camera. So this video is here to spark your creativity or your imagination to get you on your, your first button on the lofty ladder of enjoying photography. Yeah. There's tons of other gadgets and bags and all sorts of other stuff out there that you can use to either improve your photography or make things easier for you. But at the end of the day, what counts is what's behind the camera. You're the operator and without the operator, the camera is just a, a bit of plastic and metal. So learn all you can about the camera and how to change settings, learn how to clean it, learn all sorts of things, learn about when it's best to shoot photos, learn as much as you can, but most importantly, enjoy it, because that's what it's all about.
so that's all I've got for you today. Now, before you start heading off to your local trail and doing some sick stunts, please consider clicking on the subscribe button down below. It genuinely does help the channel out. I release weekly videos and I also do a live stream on a Friday from 5 p.m. onwards. So if you haven't already clicked on the subscribe and the like button, then please consider doing so. And as always, I'm the Northern Rider. Thanks for dropping in and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.